For many, the sound of erasers clapping and the sight of equations on the blackboard may conjure up childhood memories of math class. But for Dr. Alexander Anderson, this may be the cure for cancer. We're trying to use mathematical models to predict how a tumor grows and spreads in a patient. Dr. Anderson is a mathematical oncologist at Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida, the only cancer center in the world to house an entire mathematical department. You know, mathematics classically has a bad rap as being something that's not applicable to the real world. But the reality of it is that mathematics is the language of life. And life is exactly what's on the line when Dr. Anderson sets about solving the problem in front of him. The things that's really cool about mathematical models is that I can run many different treatment scenarios through a mathematical model without ever applying them to a patient. So it's really a way to um, kind of predict the future based on the current um, state of the patient. Dr. Anderson believes these models will ultimately produce better long-term outcomes for patients. This slide illustrates very graphically what happens when a patient has metastatic cancer. In this case, it's melanoma. And this um, imaging technique um, is really highlighting how active the cancer is. And so what's happening is that that cancer is metastasized all over this patient's body. And this um, image here on the right is the same patient a mere eight weeks later, and they've been treated with a targeted drug, a drug that goes after specific mutations that that cancer is known to have. And that targeted drug does a really good job of significantly destroying most of that cancer. Using the theory of evolution, Dr. Anderson and his team in Moffitt's Integrated Mathematical Oncology Department use math formulas to determine the best course of treatment that allows a patient to control the cancer and actually live with the disease. Basically, by applying treatments in a smart way, which could have been switching them on and off, we can control that cancer much more like a chronic disease. And so that leads to a situation of tumor control rather than eradication, but it potentially gives us a much more longer term strategy for met metastatic disease. This form of adaptive therapy is tailored to each individual patient and is improving quality of life for those taking part in a clinical trial. We've been able to control those cancers in 11 patients now for almost two years. Since the patients are receiving a smaller dose of medication, Dr. Anderson says they have a higher quality of life and fewer medical costs. Just some of the benefits of controlling cancer, one equation at a time. Could be the invading into the rest of the breast tissue, so this could be like an outside.